I wonder if some of these jewelry brands truly listen to content creators or to the audience. I think it was only up until two years ago that I ever heard of a prism cut anything. Prism cut is a very specific type of cut on the chain that's different from diamond cuts. It's kind of like a crosshatch. And when they all kind of intermingle, it has like the shape prism cuts on these pieces. So the fact is we've already seen a rope chain with a prism cut. We've seen a prism cut Franco. Now a prism cut wheat in 925 silver by the homie Luke Zion. We doesn't really have any kind of popularity but will this bring some sort of notoriety in the silver space as well as to the design of a prism wheat I have it here I haven't seen it as of yet but there's only one way for me to really determine if it's gonna get some sort of popularity or not it's taking that first look let's roll my music so we can check out Luke Zion's wheat prism cut chain I'm kind of a big deal Bless you, morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to you to the B to the A. The wheat chain, I've only experienced one in a previous video, and that was in gold. It's a very nice looking link. It's a super conservative link. For some reason, it feels like the ultimate preppy, clean, no frills, damn near holy chain. Holy, holy, holy. It has this preppy type of appearance to it. Like the person who goes to church on Sundays, doesn't miss Monday mass, and the chain that he or she is wearing has been passed down from a generation to another generation to them, and they in turn will pass it down. It feels kind of symbolic and almost religious, at least to my perspective, right? But let's take a look at the chain and see if it has any flair with that prism cut. Here we go. So here we have the Luke Zion presentation. Shout out to my fam over at Luke Zion for sponsoring today's video and sending this piece over for review. We all have seen that new labeling. I do love how they have that presentation and that clean logo, but who cares? Let's take out the thing. It always comes with a sticker. Let's move it right along. And here we have a 2.8 millimeter prism cut wheat chain, which we're gonna be looking at for the first time. Wow, this is unlike any other wheat chain that I've personally seen. 100%. This has a lot more youthful energy to this joint. Amazing shine on this piece. It almost looks crystally ice white. Has a lot of dynamics with this prism cut. This adds a completely different look from the original prism cut that I've gotten to see in the past. It's actually quite handsome. Very smooth. The cuts don't add any abrasion to the back of the neck. I can run my fingers through it and there's nothing gets caught up. As far as pliability is concerned, it's a little bit on the stiffer side. Doesn't have as much movement as maybe some of the other style links, but easily scrunched up. But look at how white this joint comes out. Comparatively speaking to my, to my yellow gold ring, look how white, frosty, clean, but the cuts here, and I'm gonna try to zoom in as best as I can so you guys can truly experience the type of cuts and see the prism cuts in this particular piece. You have your traditional lobster clasp, of course, a heavy duty one. This is in a frail soft lobster clasp, of course, a stamp 925 Italy, but I'm really just kind of soaking this joint in. Very nice piece, simple 2.8 millimeters, absolutely perfect for a daily wear. I believe this one is a 22 inch, and this is perfectly suitable for a stacking situation. This completely changed my perspective on the wheat chain. From the initial wheat chain that I saw, this looks I mean, a hundred times better. Wow. So here's some more up close shots of the wheat chain. Hopefully you're able to see the cuts, which is difficult on a chain this size, but hopefully you can see the amount of light it's able to refract that icy white cleanliness of this 925 silver. It almost feels platinum-ish to like my taste. It has that kind of richness that I look for in a platinum piece. Although platinum is, has a darker hue and is a little bit on the richer side, this has a beautiful vibrancy, but the cuts 1000% change anything I've ever seen on a wheat chain. Let's see how this joint looks on neck. I requested this one in 22 inch because 22 inch is something that you can absolutely pull off without a pendant. You could stack it with a 20 or with a 24. It's right in the middle of being very nice. Like look at the shine factor here without doing much effort. It's just studio lights, nothing direct. All the lights are pointed at me and look at the type of shine that this prism cut is able to do. The wheat chain in its normal state is just more of a rounded interwoven type netting situation. You don't get much shine. It's much more rounded off and not really bust down with diamond cuts but this one 
without any effort, stress, or trying, it has a beautiful shine factor. Check out the neck profile. Just out of curiosity, I would like to see how this pairs with this Forzentina, also from Luke Zion. This is a lot longer. I believe this is almost 26 inches, but we'll check right now. Usually I ask for 24. No, nope. yeah, yeah, it's about 26 inches. This one feels like 26 inches because of the gap. No, oh, no, it's maybe 24. Desperate times call for desperate measures. After measuring it out, it is 24 inches. I f knew it. So this is how that prism cut weed chain would pair with something like a Forzentina, also from Luke Zion. Very nice presentation. Give you another neck profile just so you can get an idea of stacking options with this piece. What do you guys think of the prism cut wheat chain? And have you seen the wheat chain prior to this? And are the differences wildly noticeable? I'll put a link in the description if you are interested in any of these chains. Shout out to Luke Zion for sponsoring today's video once again. And keep on with the amazing quality, unique designs. Because if it's able to change a slightly boring wheat chain into something modern, cool, and kind of dope, curious to see what else they do. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches.